Hello and welcome to our new tutorial for Odyssey. I'm Claire Gonnet from Praxinos. And today we will see together how an Odyssey project works and how to organize your file thanks to the content brother. First, let's launch Odyssey. We're going to see together what is an Odyssey project, what it does, and how it works. When you create a new project, you're going to choose from different templates in different categories. Odyssey can take a few minutes to charge for the first project. Here is a drawing project I just created. And if I go into my file explorer, I'm going to watch what it creates in a folder. In Odyssey's project, I'm going to choose the name of my project. Inside, I can see the name of my project as a U project. Because Odyssey is based on Unreal Engine technology, it's a U project and they work similarly. If I right click on it, I can open it with a notepad and see what's inside as a text file. Here you can see which version of Odyssey it's running on. Because it's a new project I didn't edit it yet, there is no much more. Once you created your project, you can run your project directly by this file by double clicking on it without going through the launcher again. It can be a quicker method to launch your project. The project root is the main directory of your Odyssey project. Let's open it and explore its subdirectories. You'll see several important folders here, including config, content, drive data cache, intermediate, and saved. Next, let's look at the config directory. This folder contains configuration files that control various settings for your project. Let's dive into the content folder. This is where all your projects are set are located, such as drawings, animation, sounds, and storyboards. Here you can see the first drawing asset from the project we just created, and you can see it as well in the project where my mouse is pointing. In the root directory, you also have other folders, such as derived data cache, intermediate, and saved. In saved, you will find all of your autosave. If you have any problem with Odyssey, everything should be in there. Let's go back to Odyssey. When you have your interface for animation, for example, you can now use your content drawer. It contains every single file you can use in your project. This means you can have several animations or drawings in the same project. You can go from one to another with the different names of the tabs on top of your workspace, or you can use Control Tab to change files directly. The Content Browser is a central tool for managing, creating, organizing, and interacting with project assets. It provides features like filtering, collections, asset identification, and asset migration. The Content Drawer is like a computer's file explorer. We have folders, and in those, you have subfolders, and those subfolders contain assets. You can access the Content Drawer by clicking on the button on the bottom toolbar of the editor. This opens a temporary Content Browser. You can then duck to the editor window. In this example, I'm going to show you how I organize my sound. Just one file here for music, and inside this subfolder, you can see more bass kind of sound for my project. From the content browser, you can create new files such as animation or texture. I'm going to create an animation file. When creating a new file, Odyssey will ask and provide for many options beforehand. You can now double click to open your new file. I'm also going to show you how to import an image to use it in the To-Do Editor. First, I'm going to go into the content drawer and I'm going to create a new folder by right clicking inside and create a folder. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to right click Import. I'm going to choose the file I need and I'm going to open it. So as you can see, you can import files and edit them in Odyssey. 
You can also export them from that, open the content drawer again, and right click on your file. And for a texture, go inside Iliad and export. For any other asset, you can right click on your asset again, and then go into Asset Actions and click on Migrate. Odyssey will remind you to save, and then it will show you all the content hierarchy it's gonna migrate for another project. Then you can choose in your Content Explorer in which project you need your asset. As you can see, every file goes into the content folder inside your project. Well done, you have migrated your file. Now, I'm going to show you how to use more of the content drawer. First, as any window, you can dock it in the layout. As a any file explorer, you have different ways of displaying your assets, such as in list or in columns. Or you can go back to tile. You can also personalize any folder by right clicking on it and then changing the color on set color. You can also call the content drawer with a control space shortcut. It will make the content drawer appear and disappear. To search for content, just go into the search bar and type the name of the asset you're looking for. You can also apply a filter. For that, simply click the small icon with three horizontal lines adjacent to the search bar. You can choose for any filter, and you can also have multiple active filters at once. For example, if I choose animation and I'm looking for my book animation, I just have to type and it's going to show me the only animation type file called book. To reset, just click on the icon and click on Reset. You can also save your filter as a custom filter and create entirely your custom filter. Just be careful, in your content drawer, there is one folder you should try not to go in, is Engine. In Engine, you have all the assets and logistics you should not touch because they're all needed for this set to work. Next thing we're going to see together is how to disable the tooltip info that is showing when you're hovering your mouse onto a tool. See? The little text you have in a white bubble. For that, go to the bottom of your workspace in the CMD command space. Inside, you're going to tap slate.enable tooltip 0. Then you click on enter to validate. As you can see, there is no more tooltip when I'm hovering my mouse onto any tools. If I need to reactivate any of the tooltips, I just go back to the command console and I'm going to type slate.enable tooltips space 1. And there you go. After validating with enter, you can see that the tooltips are reappearing. Also, if you just need a delay when your mouse is hovering, like 2 seconds, Slate dot tooltip summon delay, and then you add the number of seconds it should take. Finally, since all your files are open and active in the same project, you must remember to save everything. To do this, click on File and Save All. To save only the file you are working on, you must also click on File and then Save. You now have all Odyssey's interface tips at your disposal. Thank you for following this tutorial with me. We hope you found it helpful and are now better equipped to manage your Odyssey projects. Please follow us on any social media as we can answer your question and help you with anything.